What? Oh, look at this apartment. Looks like we got some serious outdoor space here. Look at that. Downtown, you got Midtown. That is gorgeous. What's gonna go in uh, these cages? Is this for like dogs or something? I, I believe it's for dogs. Barbecue lounge section. Okay. This is gonna be the basketball court. Sweet. Even if this was the only roof deck, it would still be more than enough. Here we are at Myrtle Wyckoff, and look at this. The apartment is a three minute walk from right over here where we got off the train. Your options look like they're limited, but this will get you to Lower Manhattan pretty quick, about 30 minutes. Now this area is kind of like a little town square. You can get some fake coffee over there at this Dunkin' Donuts and even more over here at Starbucks. But across the street from that, you can get real vegetables right over here next to the train. And you can also get real Mexican food. Look at that. Over here, we got a little Mexican bakery. Let's check out the sweet treats in the window. Ooh, an Oreo cake. Now, if you don't think you can finish your Oreo cake in one sitting like I could, maybe the products at this bong store will help you. These will give you an appetite for just about anything. There's even a gas mask which might protect you from certain airborne viral diseases. Look at this. Used car prices are so inflated that used bikes are now being sold the same way except I don't see the mileage on this guy right here. On the corner we've got your local diner. Coffee and a bagel five bucks. There's actually a bunch of little restaurants over here. You can see the outdoor dining's pretty cool neighborhood. This one right here is a chicken place. I used to live near a chicken place like that when I lived in Manhattan and I would get the half chicken and french fries pretty much every week. But unfortunately if you're looking for an ethical safe place to put your money I don't see one around here. You may need to keep looking. Looks like we got another Mexican spot over here. Of course it's closed since I'm here in the morning but I think that White Castle is open for breakfast. But don't worry if you're not a White Castle fan this cafe right across the street is incredible. They have a vegan Vegan pumpkin spice latte cake. Boy, that is a mouthful, but there's so many people here, it must be working. That's probably more exciting than White Castle, which again, not bad. How come, Christian, you didn't tell me what an awesome spot we were gonna see today? I like to keep surprises. Christian is in charge of this building. If you wanna rent something here, I'm gonna have his info below. So apparently this has a lot of amenities. That right there is the parking garage. That's where we're gonna go in. And up here is gonna be a basketball court attached to the roof deck. They've also got EV charging in the parking garage. I'm pretty excited to see this. somebody moves in. Looks like we got some serious outdoor space here. Look at that. Ooh, and this room has a tiny little balcony. How do I get out here? Sweet, that's great. What's the damage? I'm a little nervous. Uh, for this one, it's going 6,000 gross, one month free on a 12 month lease, which is netting you about $5,500. Close to 500 square feet outdoor space that's private to this unit. And we got three big, big bedrooms. Like this one right here, you're not joking either. I mean, look at this one, it's a corner unit. We got tons of light. Bathrooms here look fantastic. So this one's a one bedroom right here? Oh, this is beautiful. How much something like this go for? This one's 3,200 gross, one month for you, working out 2,933 net. We've got the exact same views here in the city that we had everywhere else in this building. And everything here's got the same kitchen pretty much. There's a laundry room on every floor of the building, so you don't have to go downstairs to do this. Every floor has it. There's not a gym on every floor, is there? No, but well, we do have the gym in the basement. So, yeah, he's gonna run the elevator. Oh. oh, cool. Okay, cool, awesome. Ooh, the roof deck. Look at this, you got downtown, you got Midtown, that is gorgeous. Wow, this is like 
overkill almost. It's huge. What's gonna go in uh, these cages? Is this for like dogs or something? I, I it's for dogs, barbecue lounge section. This is gonna be the basketball court. Sweet. Even if this was the only roof deck, it would still be more than enough. I'm guessing that's not a putting green, that's like a lounge area. Can you make it a putting green or no? I mean, if you're enthusiastic, you can make any green a putting green. For all you golfers in the audience, you know that's true. There's a pet spa where you can clean Fluffy. I'm guessing in here, is it open? Yeah. It is. Ooh, look at that, there's even a dog bone. Could you clean yourself in here? Better yet, if you have a guest who's unruly, make them shower down here, they won't overstay their welcome. Oh wow, this will be cool. So this is gonna be the residence lounge. I'm guessing that's gonna be a bar or something. Check this out, if you have some confidential job and you wanna work from home, you can get yourself a spot in one of these really cool conference rooms right here. The only problem is it's next to the lounge, so you'll see other people having fun. This right here is the gym. No equipment in here yet, but it will be brand new. And if you're one of those creeps that checks out your neighbors, you can glance at this mirror and see their reflection. Now we're gonna see the party room. There's a full kitchen, you'll be able to make food. Looks cool. And then just off the party room is the theater. That's what this is. The layout here is fantastic. Right after you walk in, you've got the kitchen on the right, and you'll notice that all the rooms are kind of spread out and none of them are next to each other. The common space is fantastic. 20 feet, six inches by 15 feet, six inches. And remember, this is in addition to all that outdoor space that's private for this unit. Right over here, you could put some seating and then across from that against the wall, you could mount an entertainment center. This would allow you to fit the entire living room pretty much opposite the kitchen. And since this closet right here is where you'll find the water heater, the perfect spot for your dining table would actually be in this area because that's where the food is coming from. Oh, it's a really nice kitchen. I don't think you could ask for much more than this in a rental apartment and just even though the appliances are nice, look at this nice amount of counter space. We've got it kind of wraps around the entire wall. And if you've got an uncontrollable appetite, you can easily grab pots and pans and start making things. I guess you could also use the cabinets, but I kind of like these open shelves. There's also, I think, six outlets and dun -dun -dun -dun, a sink sprayer. Love that. Now just off the living room by the kitchen, we've got the bathroom and this is a full bath. There is a second one somewhere. But this one's got a tub. You can see there's a really big sink. And then we've got this medicine cabinet, which must be from the future because it lights up and the one that I have in my apartment isn't this big or this fancy. The bedrooms in this apartment are all really good. Just look at how big that is. From the windows to the wall, we've got 12 feet 8 inches by 9 feet 6 inches. We're getting a lot of light because of these big windows facing our private deck and the city. Queen size bed over by the windows, no problem. If the bed's over here, over here you could have a desk or an entertainment center. And even though we've got a closet that's going to be good for hanging things up or storing luggage. There's definitely room in here for other storage options. Also, each room is on its own thermostat, so whatever temperature you want is yours to decide. I think this next bedroom is gonna end up being my favorite. We've got two windows facing the patio, and then this one right here faces the city. You can see the sun starting to come out. That looks even better now. And it has its own bathroom attached, which is a full, you can see the standing shower. It's not a small standing shower either. Plus the sink is fancy. Look at these cool shelves that it comes with. And I continue to enjoy these futuristic medicine cabinets. What a nice feature. The room itself is also a really nice size, 10 feet, seven inches by 12 feet, 11 inches. Next to the bathroom, you'll see the closet. This is bigger than what that other room had. The only problem with a room like this is that if you end up renting it, your roommates might want you to pay more of the rent. This room's also pretty sweet. Remember, this one has the little terrace over here. 
little balcony rather with a direct view of the city. Definitely if this were mine, I would put some chairs and maybe even a little hammock out there. Dimensions, we got 13 feet by 10 feet, so also a good size. Okay. Closet might not be the biggest, but the room is one of the biggest. So next to that, if that's not enough, maybe put a dresser right there. And because the door to the balcony is on that side, getting your bed in this corner is not gonna be an issue. Did I miss anything? No, I think you're good to go. Pick another video up here and I'll see you in the next one.